Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildart, and welcome back uh, to Atelier Lulua. We are back at it again. We are in the Eternal Springs, and we're I did like a shit ton of grinding, because uh, after the last episode, it was Community Day for Pokemon Go, so went out and caught myself a couple shiny Torchix, and uh, when we got back, didn't really feel good, because we made some terrible life decisions and bought... Beaver Tails, which, for those of you that don't know, are delicious, very, very sweet pastries. Uh, yeah, and I was, like, done with the world. So I just, like, sat down and grinded out a little bit. So my characters are probably a little more overpowered than they should be. But it looks like I'm not, uh, I'm not too overpowered. I'm not killing things in one hit, which is good. I can't remember what level I left off as. Um, I might have been level 15. Now I'm level like 21. So, that's nice. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're gonna finish off this part of the quest, uh, hopefully in this episode. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys enjoying this, uh, this Let's Play? I'm hoping that we get pretty far before I have to take this off the docket. Because, uh, unlike Atelier Rorona, I'm not doing hour-long episodes. Uh, I'm not really feeling that. So, I don't know. I, I said it before, uh, when I switched over to trying to stick specifically with, uh, 15-ish minutes, that, you know... 10 to 15 minutes was what I personally enjoyed for my Let's Play experiences. So if I'm making videos, I want to be able to enjoy them too. Plus, editing an hour-long Let's Play is like... It's not fun. So, yeah. Uh, let's aim for this guy. Bam. Bam. And now, this guy's gonna die. Take as little damage as possible, because I feel like there's going to be a boss battle at the end of this. Uh, something is telling me that it's in my bones. I'm feeling it. Uh, did I go the other way? Yes, there was a chest on the other side of that. So, let's just keep going this way. That thing is freaking cute. What's it called? An ice pixie. Oh my god. It's adorable. Someone's gonna have to make a plush of that. <laughs> Though I imagine a plush of a poonie would uh, happen before a pixie. Alright. So, I didn't just, uh, grind out in this and this alone. I played a little bit of Dynasty Warriors 8, still trying to, uh, max everybody out and get all the secret weapons. Like, I still have some stages that say new on them, which I'm like, why? Why do you still say new? I've had this game for so long, I have, like, 500 hours put into this game, and, like, when you go to free mode, if there's a stage that you haven't played, it still says new next to it, so I'm like, god, this, this shouldn't be happening. <laughs> and these things are, are stronger than, uh, the other stuff, which is good. I don't really, like... I like to just chill and relax, but I don't like to have the game be so easy that it's just, like, you don't have to play it. Okay. So what, what do we have? Should I be looking at the map? It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of stuff. Like, oh, oh god. 
the the map is inverted controls. Why? Why would you? Oh God. Well, let's let's move on from that. Why why would there be inverted controls in a modern video game? Like There's nothing that annoys me more than inverted controls. Okay. So this is the last week of Muso May. Hope you guys are enjoyed it. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on the uh, the hashtag on Twitter and on YouTube and on Instagram. It's been really cool seeing a, a lot of other people taking part in uh, the event. Like, I still need to watch a lot of people's videos. I jumped in on a couple of people's streams. Uh, yeah, I've been just kind of focusing on my stuff. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't really have the, as much time to prepare for this month as I wanted. Uh, and hopefully that will change for next year because uh, I'm planning it uh, way ahead of time. For those of you that didn't watch the... Uh, the update video that I put out a while back, I already announced that next year's theme is going to be Warriors Rochi, just because um, I know what my schedule is going to look like uh, moving forward. It's going to be the Monday through Friday kind of thing, and then scripted videos might happen on the weekend if I possibly get to them, and I'm hoping to have four scripted videos at least for next year. So it won't be... Um, a video every day just like this, uh, though I might just tack on an extra Let's Play if I feel like it. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, like, I still need to replay Worries Rochi 1. For some reason, I deleted my save file that had every character unlocked. Um, but I have all of the trophies, or achievements, because it's on Xbox. But I have everything. So it's not like I have to uh, replay it, but uh, let's just get rid of those. Don't really need those. Need the experience, though. Might as well. Uh, but what was I saying? Like, I don't need to replay Warriors Rochi for the achievements. Just need to have the save file just in case people um, yeah just in case people you know give me a challenge or two that has to do with the specifically the first Warriors Rochi game like I think a couple of people have requested it but uh, yeah uh, what I'm going to be doing is, for Warriors Wednesday, I'm going to set aside uh, whichever games I need, still need to finish the story for, and then set aside whichever games I still need to complete 100%, which is a lot, to say the least. Uh, there are a lot of games that I have yet to fully 100% complete, and I'm hoping that through Warriors Wednesday... Uh, that changes. I don't think I'm... Yeah. I didn't think I was going to kill... Uh, a puny in one hit. Oh, I thought that was... What's his face? This guy. Oh, well. They're dead. Uh, shit. I keep forgetting. I'm... Got full... I got a full basket. Uh... Yeah, let's just move on. Hopefully... We're here? Yes. We've made it to the center, but... Yeah, I, I didn't see any monsters that looked like they could be guardians. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but 
What makes you think the ancient text can be trusted? It's just a book that suddenly fell out on you from out of the sky, right? That's got to be some kind of fake. You'll never get anywhere thinking like that, Oral. Nothing good comes from doubting everything. Those who believe will be saved, and if you believe things will work out in the end, somehow. You have to stay positive, and it'll all work out. That's my Lulua. <sighs> it looks like I made my request to a real character here. Well, whatever. So, these guardians, wouldn't they be lurking underwater somewhere? They've got to be some kind of fish monster to be a guardian of this place. Which means it would make sense. Yes, it would make sense. What do we do then? Do we go fishing for them? Yeah, fishing is a great idea. But we need a pretty strong rod if we're going to catch a monster, so... Uh... Something the matter? What are you making noise about? The ancient text is glowing. Ah, yes! Yes! Here it is! Look here! It's a blank page. What? You can't read it either? Uh, well, a whole new section of the text just appeared. And it looks like it's about how to make a fishing rod and bait. Though, I haven't figured it all out just yet. Wow, that book really does come to the rescue whenever you're in trouble. Yeah, now we need to go decipher this page. Then I'm sure we'll be able to find the Guardian. Let's hope it's that simple. I said we're going. Do your best, everyone. Alright. So what do we have to do? Ooh, we've got two things here. Uh, a Knight's Necessity. What's this? Just, um, Guardians, question mark, and Polishing Materials, question mark. Um, what about this? So. Firm but flexible plant and animal fur. Okay. So, um, hmm. I don't quite know what to do. My own way. Okay, um, so let's just keep gathering. Oh, okay. So it looks like that's done. Green bamboo. Animal fur. So it looks like I need to find that animal. And then fight it. But what we're going to do... We're going to go back to the world map. Let's drop off all of our stuff. Back at the uh, atelier. Which will also heal us. Oh. Cutscene. Uh, I haven't seen or even heard of a monster like that one in the ancient text is describing. Maybe there's someone I can ask. Oh wait. Lisa hears all kinds of stories. I bet she knows. Hmm, I see. Yeah, I've heard of a monster like that before. On second... Oh, one second. Here, take this note. That's where I've heard it lives. <laughs> well, they don't put me in charge of all the requests in Arclis for nothing. Speaking of which, Lulua, have you ever considered taking care of some requests? Huh? Requests? That's right. The way they work is... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Tutorial! Requests. Lisa, proprietor of the Golden Axe. Manages requests made by the townspeople of Arclis. Completion leads to rewards such as money or items, and others, and there is no penalty for abandoning a quest. Consider taking on requests whenever you travel. It never hurts to save them for a rainy day. 
And that about sums it up. Very nice. So if I complete all... If I complete lots of requests, I'll have all kinds of good things to look forward to. Precisely. We'll get you started with some easy ones. Take care of them whenever you have time. Thanks, Lilua. No problem. Sweet. So I can do quests now. Uh, that also means that I can do some extra grinding while, you know, I'm not at... I'm not recording and stuff. Uh, so we gotta get some snow stones. Uh, we can deliver these immediately. And potions. We need some healing solves. I've got that. So... Alright, uh, we got nothing here. Let's... Let's head back to the world map. I'm gonna drag this out a little extra long. Or, wait. Um... What's my schedule say? I have a feeling I saw some bamboo around the Eternal Springs and I... And I can get some fur from rabbits near the empty neighborhood. Okay, um, actually, let's stay in our cleese. Yes, put all of these into the container. And what I want to do... I cannot make anything. Cool. Well, I can make stuff, I just can't make anything new. That's what I meant to say. Uh, let's go to the empty neighborhood. And hope that we see some rabbits. Seriously, right off the bat? Wow. Alright. So we'll just kill these things. And hope we get the, uh, the item that they need to drop. Uh, Alright. So let's decipher this. Bam! So, here's one of the simplest ways to catch a fish. The primary materials will be a green bamboo, which can be gathered at the waterside, and rabbit fur taken from the alumi or alumi rabbits. Great care must be taken in battle. Uh, so, rewards, recipe for to a tool for fishing, recipe for some sort of feed. Cool! So that's deciphered. What's this? Uh, let's see. Recipe for essential items for a knight. Uh, the whiskers of a guardian who can be fished up at the waters. Or at, in the headwaters are the main material. The necessity for blah, 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 blah. So the polishing materials looks like I can just get that from... Um, from the shop. So, uh, what I'm gonna do? Yes, we're gonna go to the world map. Let's just keep going to the eternal, back to the eternal springs. Um, let's go all the way in. Oh, excuse me. So, we want to. Oh wait, shit. I'm pretty sure I need to uh, actually make the the fishing rod. It's not like I'm going to have a fishing rod out of nowhere now. So after this battle, I'm actually going to go back to the town. Yes. And back to the town. Drop off everything that we earned. Yes! Yes! I can feel it! I've got a feeling that right now, I'm ready to solve this riddle. Yes. To the desk, Lulua. I can do this. And it'll all work out. Yes, drop all of these off into the container. To the desk. Decipher. Complete. So we can now make a fishing rod. Which is cool. Uh, so I need to synthesize some bait. Let's make five. Actually, um, 
what I meant to do was sort by quality. And synthesize. Perfect. Now we'll make a fishing rod. Begin synthesis. Synthesize. Um, stats plus five. Shortens wait time when using an item by 10%. Power and healing power for each reduced. Um, let's just do that. I don't think a fishing rod is used for anything other than fishing. Yes! Fishing rod and bait! Here we go! <laughs> With these, we'll catch a guardian for sure. Though, I guess that I have that I have them. It does it doesn't have to be just a guardian that I catch. There is plenty of fish in the sea, as they say. Casting your fishing line out into the water, seeing what will bite, it's so exciting. I really look forward to this. Now we've got ourselves a date for some guardian fishing at the Eternal Springs. Exploration tools. Special items like fishing rods can be equipped as exploration tools and used to unlock new abilities. For example, fishing rods will allow you to fish at fishing ponds. You can equip such items by going to exploration tools in the main menu. Remember, remember to equip any exploration tools you make. I will do that. Uh, so, exploration tools. Let's equip this fishing rod. And, um... Da, 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 this is where I want it to go. So, we're good for <laughs> items. Uh, let's quickly save, just in case. And you know what? This episode has gone on uh, long enough. I was thinking I would get to the Guardian and everything before I finished this episode off, but uh, I'm actually going to call it here because we're saving. Uh, and then in the next episode, which will air next week, we will take on the Guardian, hopefully. <laughs> so anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play of Atelier Lulua, uh, this week-long uh let's play that's been going on i hope you've been enjoying it uh, again special shout out to koei tecmo america for providing this game for the channel to be doing videos on it i i'm just excited to be experiencing more new games with you guys it, it's it's always a fun time so don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more because not only is muso may still going on this is the last week of muso may so there's videos every week but next week starts the new schedule, so Monday through Friday there's going to be Let's Plays and weekends. We'll sometimes have scripted videos like reviews or uh, list videos and discussions and stuff, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, another special thanks goes out to the Guild, who support this channel via Patreon. And don't forget you can join them at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. And if you'd like to check out the different tiers of rewards, you can check out the links on screen or down in the description below. And I will see you all! down in the comments.